In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create wavy zigzag cuts around a solid 3D object. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use an ICO sphere, and I've increased the subdivisions up to four. Default is two. This works on pretty much every sort of um, 3D object. You can use a cube or just an ordinary sphere or whatever you want. But I'm going to use this ICO sphere as an example. So to create your wavy cuts is a bit of a work around this one. And there are other ways of doing this, but this is, I think, the easiest way to do it. Hold down shift followed by A. And in this instance, because we're going around a cylinder, I'm going to select next to curve the circle. I'm going to press tab on my keyboard, keyboard to go into edit mode, then 7 to go into top view. And with this circle still selected, I'm just going to press S and drag this circle out so it's slightly larger than this IQ sphere and I'm gonna right click and then hit subdivide so if I click or select the top vertice then hold down shift and then select every other vertice what I can do if I go into front view by pressing one on my numbers pad is use this move button here and then Using the blue arrow and my left mouse, I can create a curve. I'm going to press A to reselect everything. And again, using this blue arrow, I'm going to center this up in the middle. I'm going to use the graph or the, the grids for this. So I think that is going to be pretty much in the middle. You can do this anywhere you want, um, but I'm just going to go for a middle cut. I'm going to press tab to go back into edit mode and then select object and then next to convert I'm going to select mesh I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode again and then press A to select everything now I'm going to extrude this towards the middle so I need to pre press first E then S and then I'm going to hold down shift plus Z and then I'm going to hit zero. So this has created a sort of a wavy um, surface, for want of a better word. I'm going to press tab again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the circle, the icosphere. And then I'm going to select this wrench here is the modifier properties uh, tab then where it says add modifier i'm going to select this and i'm going to select boolean now i need to select union this difference one doesn't work that well for splitting um, especially when you've got small edges so i'm going to select union and then where it says object i'm going to left click and select bezier curve or circle rather now you'll probably find this will happen so what i need to do is select fast look for the drop down arrow select this and then select apply top of the right top right hand side i can now select bezier circle and then hit delete to get rid of it i'm going to select the circle or the sphere rider and hit tab and the first thing I want to do is get rid of this these edges here so I'm going to select one vertice on the edge hold down shift and then I'm going to select the next one so I've got one next to the other so I've literally got two vertices next to one another and then I'm going to come up to select the top and I select loops and I'm going to select or next to the select loops I'm going to select edge loops 
And we're literally going to hit delete and select vertices and get rid of these. And the next thing I need to do is select the loops. This can be a bit difficult. So you need to look for something where you can find a couple that are next to one another. So I'm going to select this one here and I'll downshift and select this one. So again, I've got two vertices next to one another. I'm going to come up to select. And again, next to select loops, I'm going to select edge loops. Now I need to split these and I find very often you cannot split them by simply pressing V. What you need to do is come up to mesh and then split and faces by edges. Now if I press A and then to select everything and P and then select by loose parts I should find I've got two loose or two separate um, areas. So I can now go into um, object mode by hitting tab. I can select this one, say, and I don't know, just give it a quick color. So we'll go, um, I don't know, let's make this one white. Maybe take the roughness down, right click and add and shade auto smooth let's have a look at the colors you can find the colors up here or rather the viewpoint shading button here and we'll do the same with this one roughness here and i don't know we'll go for a blue color right click shade auto and you should have something that looks a bit like this it's not perfect this one because I've rushed this tutorial. I could have made the edges a bit smoother, but it gives you a rough idea of what you can do if you want to cut through an object with a wavy cut. Hopefully that's pointed someone in the right direction or has helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.